Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, yeah, once more here with Alvin and Manfilia, where Alvin wanted to explain us something about his new organization. Pray forgive me if I tweet over old ground, but I will first speak of a grand plan. Since the advent of the Seventh Umbral Era, the leaders of the great of the three nations have been deliberating over an accord that seeks to bring the disparate forces of Eorzea together into a single entity. A realm-wide grand company, if you will. The military might of such an institution would be drawn from every corner of the land and directed against threats so that no single nation could hope to overcome alone. Yet, while the purpose of this hypothetical organization is undisputed, the logistics of its formation have become a, the source of endless debate. The longer these discussions continue, the more I sense the impetus toward unification draining away. Thus have I been campaigning for the creation of, one, of what might be considered a trial company. It will be a much on a much smaller scale than what we hope to eventually achieve, but capable of the same manner of unrestricted operation accorded to the science. It is my hope that the success full utilization of such a force will lend mon momentum to the lagging deliberations. Also, being a primarily, primarily military outfit, I mean to assuage fears of its misuse by placing the fletching organization under the authority of the antecedent. The science worked tireless to protect, the, protect Eorzea and its people. But as you yourself have witnessed with a refugee re revolt, there are limitations to what even we can achieve. With this new company under the science command, however, we will be capable of responding to a wider range of difficulties without straining our resources or overtaxing your formidable talents. That goal, the goal of my proposed organization and those of the science are ultimately identical, a point conceded by all concerned. But before I can move forward with the establishment Establishing this precursor to the true border spending grant company, it is yet necessary that I visit the three leaders and gain their official approval. A tiresome and time consuming task, which is why I would ask that you accompany me on the journey and attend to the business of recruiting our inaugural members while I'm otherwise engaged with bureaucratic formalities. Alright. Thank you. It is reassuring indeed to know that the bringer of light and his discerning eye will be selecting our future allies. Our first destination will be Limsaluminsa. Let us wander through at Bulwark Hall. Ah, there you are. I'm ready to ascend to the bridge and speak with Admiral Blurfisvin. When the Admiral and I are finalizing permissionary boundaries and signing parchments, I would have you begin the recruitment process in earnest. I have, of course, endeavored to spread the word of our organization through various channels, but I believe a personal approach will reach many who may otherwise remain ignorant of the opportunity. As for potential members, it is of no matter should they already be pledged to another institution, only that they are willing to lend their strength when the situation demands it. And you needn't range into the countryside, the upper decks alone are populated with sufficient candidates to suit our purpose. Once you're satisfied with your recruiting efforts, meet me at the airship ticket counter that we might prepare for the next leg of our journey. And the upper decks. Captain Cavalain, have, are you interested in joining our trial company? An organization with a freeman, freedom to operate with territorial impunity, I must say, your proposal intrigues me. But the Krakens well know that there is a time to act and a time to watch, and I'm afraid this trial company of yours falls into the latter category. Hmm. 
There is a no. Master Avenor's new organization? Yes, I had heard the formation of a strike company was on the offing. I will regret, however, that I must decline your invitation. As commander of Yellow Jackets, the protection of Limsa Lominsa must needs receive my full attention. Uh, we could hire Alka Zorka here. He's a character from the Scholar quest line. In fact, he's your quest giver. Yeah. <laughs> eh, who's a bloody ass do you think you're talking to, Dwellender? I'm a pirate, not some sodding knight in shining plate. If you're looking for a self righteous fop, try knocking about Dandy Caroline's store. Already did. Captains Rossman and Cavalain are kind of rivals, and well, the ah, I tell it later when it comes up. A precursor to a United Eorzean Grand Company. Hmm. While I do admire the scope of your ambition, my responsibilities here at Val Naldek and the Melis keep me close to the forge. I have not the time to be traipsing hither and yon across the realm. Should you acquire my skills as an armor, however, I might be willing to accept some special commissions. That is a not a soldier. That's one no and three uh not really. But I'm rooting for you. Why all? I know you, I old. Well, if it ain't serious, I'd not forget a venture brave enough, or daft enough, to seek the shortcut to Titan's bedchamber. You remember old I old, don't you? Formerly of a company of heroes? Three whistles at Bronze Lake? Aye. It ain't often I drag me ass out to Limsa for a drink, but I'm right glad I did. How fair you, he says. Hmm? You're looking to put together a new crew? Top tier work? <laughs> Sounds like a white lark does. A white light, count me in. The heroes may have gone their separate ways, but I ain't ready to climb into my grave just yet. So that is one. But at least a better one. Serious, your equipment went well, I trust. I'm curious as to how my proposal was received by the rough and ready folk of Limsa Lominsa. Ah, a member of a legendary company of heroes indicated his interest. Astonishing. I knew enlisting your aid was the right choice. Few could both be acquainted of such an elusive character. I too was successful in my task, yet more consented to sign all the documents requiring her approval. I can only hope that my visit with the Elder Seeds here proceeds smoothly. Pray continue on to Guidania at, at your own pace. I shall await your arrival at Novika's altar. My audience of the Elder Seeds is due to commence momentarily. I would be grateful if you could once more see to the task of recruitment here in Gridania. After you deem the well of potential candidates has run dry, let us wander at the airship ticket counter as before. Are you certain? Alright. Oh gods, can it be truly be you? By what fickle fortune must the first face I see upon my release be yours? Huh? Could it be that you don't remember me? It is I, Laurentius, the man whose crimes you exposed. 
I was a whaler and a regular patron at the bus grounds. Yes, now I remember. Well, of course you do. I was beginning to wonder if Gaul had changed me more than I realized. Now, not that I have any particular wish to be recognized after my shameful conduct. Hmm, well, less said of my past for better, I suppose. And what of you, adventurer? What bring business brings you to this part of Gridania? Recruiting, eh? Huh? What's your policy on reformed convicts? As men as the wood will have not more to do with me. This, this must be the, this may be the ch second chance I was looking for. Revenant's tall, you say? I shall leave at once. You shall not regret this. I promise you. I'm a changed man. Okay, Laurentius. No more selling company secrets to the Guardians, I hope. My back's perfectly fine, I tell you. You have to tie me to my bed if you think to prevent me from... <gasps> uh, ow! Well, mayhem, I will rest for just a short while. Grandfather, you must call it a day. Let us return to the guild and rest ere your tormented back gives up on you for good. I'm terribly sorry, we're just... <laughs> Oh, serious, isn't it? It's been some time since our paths crossed outside of Copperbell Mines. Why, you were barely more than a novice adventurer then, but look how far you've come. Mother Mion tells me it was you who felt the fearsome Black Wolf. And now you seek stout-hearted souls to fill the ranks of a new order? Hmm, well, your cause is undoubtedly just, and my old companions here would be much relieved to see me in good hands. My old companion, yeah. Yes, yes, I do it. It's the very thing I spent my entire adventuring career working towards. I shall join your company just as soon as I've seen Isidore ho safely home. So that is two. The old butler? You would offer this old man a place in your company of champions? I'm both puzzled and honored by your invitation. Pray forgive me, young master, but I cannot accept. I have sworn to abide here for whatever scant years remain to me, and bear responsibility for the evils my lady has wrought upon this land. Hmm, it's not often a guild officer such as myself gets recruited. And this company of yours certainly sounds to have some promise, but its duties appear less than focused. I must refuse your invitation until such time as your organization is more organized. And maybe later. What new serious? For my part, the elder seats here was most amen amenable to our requirements. A former wood whaler and a seasoned adventurer, our company will not lack for variety, that much is certain. An interesting harvest indeed. Shall we strike into Ulda, whites the iron is hot? Let us meet at the royal promenade and endeavor to conclude our remaining business. Our journey draws to a close. Ulda, the gilded city, the one fortune defines one the one's fortune defines one's worth. I hope some man of fortune is with us, and that this final lack proves as successful as the previous two. But I suggest descending to the lower levels before beginning your recruitment efforts. I do not think the Sultana will take kindly to us poaching from a personal guard. A shame a few paladins might be useful for our company. But I can see what he what he means. Let us meet back at the promenade when our respective tasks are complete. Good hunting! Gladiator skilled, sounds good. Hmm? Wait, you have a man who came to Alamigo looking for a masked devil? Who knows what might have happened if you hadn't... I'd probably be dead, and a whole lot of my friends besides. We were such fools. And you know that disaster really got me thinking. 
about our homeland and about the outsider that who saved us from ourselves. I realized how easily I'd been manipulated and vowed to make myself a more worldly man. So here I am. A new company of champions and you say you would take me to all corners of a realm? That sounds exactly like the kind of opportunity I need. And don't worry, I'm not the same stripling you met in Little Alamigo. I've prepared myself to fight the evil I know no is out there. Bullwet. Yeah. The leader of a young uh, people of Little Alamigo. I would love to recruit Alberta, the conjurer, uh, the conjurer, gladiator skilled leader. Oh heck, <laughs> Albi, Aldus. That was it, right? Have you come to tell me the news, soldier? Well, I've already heard it. Seems a would-be savior of Uldar's refugees went and got himself killed, and not by your end. He was just as much a pawn as the hapless cast of he sought to deceive. Huh? That's not why you're here? Ah, you'd be surprised what rumors drift down the Pearl Lane. I know of this glorious new company of yours, and just how far I'd go to avoid getting involved with it. Whisper on the streets say your organization is funded by corrupt coin. By syndicate coin. If you think you're recruiting for a just cause, then you're a bigger fool than I took you for. Hmm, corruption. A merchant, huh? A company that looks to cure the ills of a realm entire? Listen, friend. I can scarcely have the complaints of the next star over, let alone the conundrums of a neighboring nation. Yeah, that, that was a stupid idea. As is this one. I'm sorry, you wish to recruit me? Is this some new fashioned man of proposing a lady? Well, I'm afraid you're wasting your time. This lady's already spoken for. Good day to you, sir. Sister Urson from the Church of Santa Maladama or Oh what a happy coincidence. Do you remember me perchance? I'm Urson of the Church of Saint Adama Landama. Thank you again for your timely rescue. And I must also thank you for preventing that fraudulent priest from preying on dry bones less fortunate. A most upsetting business. Are you here with your companion? Thank you, wasn't it? Ah, tis new companion to seek then. Your proposed organization sounds a wonderful force for good, but my place is at the church with the children. Nevertheless, I wish you well in this undertaking. Okay, the priestess I can understand, but uh, the, the lady and the merchant not so much. And... Okay, Avano. How fair is this? What hidden gems did the streets of Ulda offer up to your unrelenting gaze? Hmm, a single Alamegan youth. Well, you've certainly given us an admirable start, even if our ranks are yet somewhat thin. In these troubled years following the calamity, talk of Eorzea's salvation must seem akin to grasping at clouds. But there are those who have risen to the challenge nonetheless. The hope that inspires these people was born in no small part from the victories you yourself have won. Thank you, Sirius. I will not squander the precious gift you have placed into my keeping. These recruits will become the foundation of a new beginning. And yes, we are free to begin. As you have no doubt surmised, the Sultana also graced my tribal company with her blessing. Our first wave of equipment is over, the document signed and the finances are secure. But it's not to prevent me from taking the next step. Hmm? You are concerned by the syndicate's involvement? As was I, thus was the origin of every coin of their contribution carefully scrutinized and recorded. This organization will not be built on corruption. 
Naturally, I would prefer not to rely upon outside sources at all, but even my family's substantial coffers could not sustain a venture of this magnitude. As for the rumors and doubts surrounding this enterprise, well, such things shall plague us until the company has had a chance to prove its worth. It will not be an easy process, but will earn people's trust one success at a time. Speaking of time, we should waste no more of it. Let's return to the Rising Stones and lay the first stone for a united Eorzea. Tell me, General, what think you of Alfino's bold endeavor? I think it is more than bold, Your Grace. His organization would pave the way for a united Eorzea. Well do I understand his impatience, since facing the common threat of the Ultima weapon, our nations have seemed farther apart, not closer together. Considering the many problems we face, should we not be glad that someone else is taking the initiative? We have all pledged our cooperation. Yet the grumbling continues behind closed doors. Ulda is not alone in her duplicity. I myself have doubts as to the good this organization will achieve. With the inclusion of the finest soldiers of the three grand companies, it promises to be a fearsome military body. But whom will it serve? Even under the watchful gaze of the Scions, it is not unthinkable that such a force could perpetrate a great wrong. Does it not concern you that a significant proportion of its financial backing came from the coffers of the Syndicate? That those unprincipled worms might forge this extraordinary gathering of warriors into a private army? I have trust in the Scions, Your Grace. They have spared us no end of trouble at the hands of the Primals. If they seek reinforcements, I deem it unwise to deny them. As for their finances, full many gave generously. And though our nobles proffered a sizable sum, their coin did not spill from the pockets of Lolorito and his cronies. And what of the presence of our stalwart adventurer friend in this endeavor? I doubt the Warrior of Light would betray our cause. Yes, there is that, I suppose. Yet I have known people to change. Whether we will or no, the events of the Age hurl us this way and that, like a dust devil skipping across the sands. Cannot be done about Telechi. I have explored all avenues available to us, Your Grace. But as Uldan Law now stands, we lack the evidence to convict him of any crime. To arrest him on spurious grounds would only play into his hands. Treason, and yet we can do nothing. And what good our government? What worth the royal house? How deplorable this mockery of justice! Have faith, Your Grace. 
It is not over. Must feel horrible for this feeling of helplessness. <sighs> it's not a journey I soon wish to repeat, but I cannot pause to rest. The culmination of all our effort is at hand. I must see to the preparation for the inaugural cer ceremony. Thank you for allowing me to monopolize your services, Sirius. I'm certainly and then will be relieved to see you free for other duties. Okay, but that will wait until next time. Until then, when we um, yeah, see what happens next. I'm Mace, and don't get lost.